Hello, I am Tanya Nardini and I'm a Brazilian director and choreographer. And since 2007, I am an associate director for Chicago the Musical all over the world. That means that this last 13 years I've been traveling all over the world, working with some amazing, talented artists from very different cultures. So after we started this lockdown due to the pandemic, I was thinking, how can I share this extremely interesting experience that I have to know all these people from all over the world that are connected through one character? I sent them all an email inviting and they all agreed, they accepted. So wow, it's an amazing experience. We've been doing this virtual meetings, almost all the Velmas, all the Roxies, all the Billies, and more and more and more from everywhere. And it's been so fun and such a, an incredible, inspiring experience for me to see them meeting each other for the first time and sharing and connecting outside in, inside out. Enjoy. together in the way so you can all meet and share experiences and talk about our journey together <laughs> so Gigi can yes. we start with you because you were my yes. first in 2007 <laughs> in Korea <laughs> You're right that's right we started in Chicago uh, a little earlier than 2007 here in Korea that is 2005 I think we've been doing it for this is my our ninth time am i right yeah i'm a resident cho uh, resident mm. choreographer here in korea Amazing. nice to meet you all <laughs> <laughs> okay my name's matt um i was dance captain on the uh, last london production at the phoenix mm. theater along with zoe who's next oh. to me on mine but i don't know if she'll be next to you on yours um, yeah, we did nine months, I think, um, and it was my third time doing Chicago, so I did it first when I was 21, a little baby, um, and then I went back as swing um, and then did dance captain, so I've kind of like worked my way up the ranks. And I need to say hi to Bex as well, because I can see you. Planning. I can hear you, oh, but I can't see you on my screen. I was like, that's oh, Whoopi's no. voice. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello, can you see Bex. me? Yeah, I can. But it's lovely to see Love. you all. I thought I'd Thank you for it. coming. That's right. I'll <laughs> stay for another 10 minutes just to say hello to everyone. Nice to meet you. I wouldn't mind going next if that's okay, Tanya, because I'm yeah. supposed to be home homeschooling my son, who I've left okay. next door. <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully all is well. So <laughs> everything's attached. Um, hello, everyone. Firstly, Tanya, thank you so much for doing this incredible thing. Such an thank amazing you. experience. It's a wonderful idea. So thank you. So hello uh, from London to everybody. Um, I've done the show five times, three times on purpose and uh, twice by accident. <laughs> uh, rehearsing for Spamalot down the road and they have five Merry Murderesses instead of six. So I've had to <laughs> drop my things and, and run to Cambridge Theatre or whatever it was at the time and jump in and do Cell Block Tango or whatever. Wow. Uh, so, um, <laughs> and I've done Ensemble, I've done Swing, I've done Dance Captain and I've done a stint as resident director. And uh, you probably all feel the same. It's the most incredible show in the world. Yes. Um, out of all of them, it's the one that stays with us all, I think. And it, I think it's just such a hard, uh, concept to grasp in the beginning when you're so young and it kind of grows into you doesn't it emotionally as well as physically and because you learn to do that so deeply it never goes so it's it I think it all stays with you that's how I feel personally and uh yeah that's it really uh, and who wants to say hello quickly 
This is a chorus. This is a chorus line, baby. Go, Zoe. Oh, am I on? Okay. Hi, everyone. I love how this is so international. It's amazing. It's really lovely to see everyone. And uh, thank you so much, Tanya, for doing this. I started with Chicago in Germany. Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> Where I was petrified because I had never spoken a word of German in my life. Um, but we got there eventually. <laughs> uh, I started off as ensemble in Germany and I was Liz and then came to London and I did swing, mama and assistant dance captain. It was a very interesting experience with Zoe in Germany. Uh -huh. Tell us more, Tanya. Yeah, tell us more, yeah. Tanya. So I, just, I just remember you her. Remember when, that time. That uh, time always comes back to me when I was like, I literally don't know what to improvise. I don't know how to improvise because I have no idea what I'm saying. But I know what I'm saying in English in my head. But when it comes out of my mouth, Apparently the German words were right, but then one day I was just like, it was in a dress rehearsal, and yes. I remember I had my leg on the chair as Liz, and I went to speak and I was like, oh. and then I thought, no, I'm proud to improvise. But you said to me, if that happens, just say scheiße and move on. So I was like, got it. And I was shaking. I could not believe, just so scary. <laughs> <laughs> exactly so we what we made it through. We yes, made it. and you went back to doing your language years later, which is amazing. Well yeah. done. Yeah, and then I had to re remind myself how to do it in English because I was like, I have no idea what this is in English, but <laughs> 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 it was fine in the end. <laughs> uh, I know Zoe too. We uh, start high. Um, uh, I joined the cast of the Stuttgart uh, Chicago a little later and uh, Alex who is here and Reese and Zoe who are here were already in the cast and I was a swing and uh, uh, Reese taught me everything I needed to know and it was a very intense time and I, I will never never forget uh, it was very yeah it was a it, yeah it changed my life in a way and uh, I'm yeah <laughs> I'm I'm moving myself <laughs> because that yeah it was really uh, important for me and uh, Zoe moved on to another show and we moved on to Berlin and Munich where I uh, um, took Alex's place who was Reese's assist assistant and I had been swinging in Stuttgart so I moved on to be Reese's assistant in uh, Berlin and Munich. And then uh, a couple of years later, uh, I, Alex and I uh, dance captain the French cast. So I definitely uh, empathize with uh, Zoe's experience of not doing Chicago in your language. <laughs> I, I was, uh, well, I, I spoke a little bit of French, so I had a, a probably a nicest way to start, but I was swing so, and dance captain. So it was, uh, and the Mama Morton cover, so I, it was a lot too. And uh, I had this experience once on stage two where I just, I, I was always aware that I won't be able to improvise text wise. So I really, you know, was prepared and prepared and prepared. But that one day just, you know, <laughs> your brain does something and you make something up and then you, ah. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember that one show where I mixed up the, uh, uh, Annie's monologue. It was the longest one, of course. <laughs> um, <laughs> And I made it halfway through and I hoped it made sense. And then now let's uh, move on. <laughs> yeah, so I empathize with not, not doing it in your language is definitely a, a special challenge. Yeah. I have to say for Dorit as well, just I remember when we put, when we were doing the show and putting her in, it wasn't a normal swing experience because, you know, you would sit as a swing and you learn everything with everyone and you take your notes and you sort of have an overview. And because we wanted to get Dorit in really quickly, we focused on one track, like the next one that would be someone was going on holiday, I think, or something like this, before we needed her in. And so we did it, I think, in about two weeks. So we were sort of chilled and we were focusing on a couple of other bits and bobs. And she went on, and I think maybe you did a double show. I can't quite remember now. Maybe you got through three shows and then 
we had a phone call, myself and Alex, and you know, we had some people who were sick. And we kind of went, there's no one there. And I called Doris and I was like, so do you want to come in and learn another track? And she was like, oh yeah, well, I thought we were. We, we'll meet to, we see each other at four o'clock, right? I went, no, can you come in at 12? Cause you're on tonight, <laughs> like do another track. And uh, but that's what happened. That's the thing with these amazing people that mm -hmm. Tanya, I think finds because and that's part of the show, I think, that everyone just wants to give and to do their best and to uh, push themselves because then after that, you know, that's when later on Dorit ended up stepping into Mama Morton in German. We had no mamas and, and she went on and did that and that was crazy and yeah, and she just bust, just smashed it and it was a crazy experience for me because then I have uh, Tanya on the other end of the phone as well because we had no resident director in the house either so I was doing this whole thing <laughs> but on my own and I kind of went okay Tanya what do I say what do I do <laughs> um, but yeah that's uh, that's Dorit ladies and gentlemen <laughs> hey everyone Hi. it's nice to meet you Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, Amy and I were the dance captains on the um, Australian production which finished up in Feb, so only a few months ago. Um, yeah, we had an amazing time. It was um, yeah my first time doing the show, but Amy um, has done it before, so you go, Amy. <laughs> oh, hi, everyone. Hi, Tanya. Um, so my first experience was in 2009, actually, um, so many years ago, and um, we just had our 10-year anniversary, so to do it again in 2019 was just a dream come true, and to be, you know, co-DC with Mitchell, who is incredible. Um, yeah, we, I felt really honoured and to work with Tanya and Gary. And unfortunately, we couldn't work with Rob, but we could work with Jesse, which was amazing. And yeah, we had a really great, pretty good tour, actually. <laughs> yeah, we were lucky. We, um, like, the cast hardly went off. <laughs> it was um, some sort of miraculous fluke. Um, yeah. yeah, so... We were, um, yeah, had a nice, healthy cast, which was great. Yeah. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Mitch, for being here so late. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Can I go next? I just thought I'd go next because uh, Dorit spoke and Zoe spoke and Ree spoke. And since I work with all of them and I, um, uh, I was uh, the assistant of uh, both Reese and Dorit, I thought I'll conclude uh, the circle. I closed the circle and I've got the European sections over. <laughs> so hi everyone, I'm Alex and uh, I did the show three times. I did it in Germany, I did it in Denmark and I did it in France. Mm. And the first two I did were choreographed by Gregory Butler. Uh, I'll be name dropping now. Uh, Gregory <laughs> Butler was- uh, Good old Greg. <laughs> And the third time I did it was literally last year in Paris. Uh, yes, I'm milking it. <laughs> and it was choreographed by Anne Rankin. Uh, so <laughs> I'm already getting emotional. <laughs> Sorry. Keep it together, because I still, When I say it, I still can't believe it. It, <laughs> it is literally like, for me, the biggest achievement of my career, the fact that I got to work for two months with this woman. Uh, I was ensemble on all three shows. Um, I was assistant dance captain the first time for Reese, the second time for uh, Dorit. And in all three productions, I was, uh, I had the honor of uh, being the spirit of Fosse. Mm -hmm. um, all three productions were directed by Tanya, whom I consider a good friend by now because we worked uh, together so much. And um, I'm very grateful for this um, meeting. First, I just thought, oh yeah, that's fun. And I saw that she did it with Mamas and Roxy's and Belmas and Billy's and Amos's and everything. And I was really glad when this invitation came because just sitting here and uh, listening to all of you, seeing you and realizing where you all are and the translators uh, just brings it all up again and makes me feel again very strongly part of this fantastic family and uh, makes me realize again how lucky we all are at least that's how I feel so yeah. that's uh, the emotional part of the meeting here we go <laughs>
was very, very cool to be in that yeah. French production with Miss N Ranking, mm -hmm. doing a new choreography. Yeah. Wow, I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> because now in Me after that, we did Mexico with this new choreography. Mm -hmm. Elias overture and Razzo completely different from wow, before wow, wow. Okay. and Mexico in the US tour and Australia wow. new new and Korea and Korea and Korea uh, <laughs> 네, 어, 한국식으로 인사드리겠습니다. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. <웃음> 어, 초대받아 너무나 기쁘고요. 아, 저는 일단 제 소개 드리면 저는 2008년부터 시작해서 지금까지 계속 어 내년에도 일단 가기로 돼 있는 어 이쪽에 이제 앙상블도 했었고 뭐 댄스 캡틴 그다음에 협력 조합 무대 해봤고 스윙까지 하면서 계속 지금 해오고 있어요. 네. 그리고 um, I'm so happy to be invited to this meeting today. Uh, I'm Junte and I worked on Chicago. Um, since 2008 in Korea. I was in the ensemble, I was dance captain, swing, and also assistant resident choreographer. 네. 아, 그래서 일단 타냐가 이런 자리를 만들어주고 있다는 걸 알고 있었는데 저까지 이런 데 포함되게 같이 이런 데올수 있다는 게 너무나 행복하고 너무나 좋아요. 네, 너무나 좋고 어, 시카고니까 이게 가능한 것 같아요. 제 생각엔 시카고만 할수 있는 I... 네. I, I knew I heard that Tanya was uh, organizing this series of meetings and I, but I didn't imagine that I would be part of it. So I'm really really happy and I think it's really this is possible because it's Chicago. Yeah. I'm so happy and so it's such a pleasure to see everyone today. Mm. Okay, um, hello everyone. I am Elias from Mexico City. I did uh, Chicago the first time uh, 19 years ago. Uh, wow. You can see a picture behind me. <laughs> there, oh, yes! Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> I, <think. laughs> uh, I did, uh, I played uh, Aaron, Aaron track, and I think three days before the opening night, uh, Agari asked me to be dance captain <laughs> mm. and uh, <laughs> it was uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was an amazing experience then because um, my father um, was dancing in New York at the late 60 when I was born and he, he met uh, Fossey, Fossey uh, ah. Uh, Mr. Fossey doing uh, um, my father was dancing with Alvin Ailey's company wow I think my father was the first Mexican that uh, danced there mm. and uh, he met uh, Mr. Fossey when he was doing dancing mm -hmm. and uh, my father uh, fell in love <laughs> of Mr. Fossey's work and he, I, I hear all my, my, my life uh, since I was a, a, a very small kid. When Chicago came to Mexico for the first time, I was uh, in a sort of shock all the time, <laughs> just trying to assimilate that I was there. <laughs> so um, it was a, a, a great uh, uh, experience. And 19 years later, <laughs> Uh, people from production called me and asked me to, to be part of the process of the audition process for the next the next uh, version of Chicago. So I was also oh, exciting, but I never I never thought uh, that that uh, there was uh, the possibility of to be part of the cast also, and and then when. When Tanya, Gary, and Rob, everyone from the from the uh, production came to Mexico City, and finally they invited me to be resident choreographer. It was ah, oh, <laughs> oh, uh, I I don't have words to, to explain. You know, you know everyone what I, what I mean. And uh, it was a, a, an incredible experience because I I thought 
that I knew Chicago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Being dance captain and I'm part of the cast. But in this new process, I, I learned uh, it, it, uh, so much so much that I never imagined that was Chicago. It was another, uh, a big revolution, revolution in my mind and in my heart, trying to learn in a different way, Chicago. I, I still, I still learning now hearing you all and, and trying to understand all the experience that you have in this beautiful show. Thank you, Tanya, to, to invite me. Now I know that, that uh, is, is, uh, Chicago, of course, changed my, my life 20 years ago and still change, changing it. Uh, and uh, and I'm, I'm so proud and so happy to be part of this beautiful family. Thank you. Thank Muchas you. gracias. Hello, everyone. I'm Marina. I'm from Moscow. And I'm so proud to be here. <laughs> Tanya, thank you. Изначально я помогала проводить кастинг. И Гарри, после кастинга Гарри сказал, что ты должна быть на сцене. И это был вызов для меня самой, потому что я уже много лет э, работала как резидент-хореограф и как хореограф. И э, пойти, войти в форму, снова стать артисткой для меня было очень сложно, и физически сложно, и морально сложно. А, и это была большая ответственность, и я... Благодарна Тане за то, что э, за ее терпение, потому что они меня уговаривали, и я безумно счастлива, что я сделала этот шаг. И теперь я понимаю, что это единственный проект, ради которого я сейчас, ну, я сейчас много ставлю в разных театрах, в разных продакшенах. И, наверное, это единственный, один из тот спектаклей, который, ради которого можно войти в форму, и ради которого можно снова пойти и стать артисткой. И для меня это, конечно, огромный такой левел, что ли. Я действительно не думала, что это будет так сложно. В России этот спектакль в 2013 году был второй раз. И мне казалось, что я действительно все знаю. И еще один момент. Сейчас попробую быстрее. Не торопись. Еще один момент такой, что у нас не было кавера «Мама Мортон», и Таня предложила играть мне эту роль, и я испугалась тогда, испугалась не соответствовать, испугалась, да много чего испугалась, и я до сих пор об этом жалею. И я благодарю Таню за то, что она приняла мое решение отказаться и за ее поддержку и терпение. Для меня, конечно, Чикаго — это лучший проект. Переводи. Спасибо. Initially, I was called in to Chicago uh, to assist during castings, and that was it. But at the end of the castings, Gary and Tanya told me that they want to see me on stage. And that was a big challenge for me because by then I was already mostly a choreographer and resident choreographer, original choreographer. And it was a big step for me to go back into my artistic shape, physically, emotionally, mentally, and go on stage and perform. Um, and I didn't expect it to be that hard. I got to tell you that it was a real challenge, but to this day, I think Chicago is one of the very few shows that I would be ready to go through that again. I am now staging a lot of shows, staging a lot of productions, and uh, but if I had to do it again, I would. <laughs> and another thing I wanted to say that to this day, I remember we didn't have a Mom Mama Morton cover in the ensemble and we needed one. So at the end of the castings, uh, Gary and Tanya offered that part to me. And I chickened out. I got scared because of so many I'm reasons. Afraid. I prayed. Yes, <laughs> I was afraid to do it. And I declined. 
and I'm grateful to Tanya for her accepting that decision of mine, but I regret making that decision to this day. Mm. Well, <laughs> I'm very grateful for all the patience and all the um, work you've put in with me as well. Thank you. Pasiba, Irina. Pasiba, Bauchai. Can I have now Darren and Jenna from South Africa from the international tour wow. of Chicago? Hi, everyone. My name's Jenna. I am in Cape Town. Um, I live here in Woodstock with my husband, Dave. And Darren and I were on the international tour of Chicago. Um, we started in 2018 um, and we just wrapped up the tour in January of this year. Um, so it was quite in a In China. Long, in China. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, we, toured, we toured China and Germany, obviously South Africa and Austria. It was amazing. Uh, one of the most incredible experiences I've had the privilege of having. I um, was a swing on the show. I started as a swing and assistant dance captain to Darren. Um, and in the final season of, uh, of in China, I got the privilege of playing Honiak, um, which was amazing. Nice. Um, over, the tour, over the whole course of the tour, I actually got to perform as each of the Merry Murderesses, which was such a, a gift. It was amazing. Um, we had lots of fun experiences. I'm sure Darren will fill you in about his, <laughs> his final performance. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Tanya, you said to us actually in rehearsals um, way back in Joburg that the this, this show would change our lives. And it, it really does. It's one of those amazing shows that just stay with you. I met the most amazing people and I'm sure you can imagine spending so much time together we toured to yeah crazy places um some of my closest friends i miss them so much every day um now being back home but it's so nice to meet you all and it's very exciting to be part of this family and i hope it's not yeah i just wish to do it again in some capacity thank you tanya Thank you. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Darren. I am from South Africa. Uh, we did the world tour. Uh, as Jenna said, started in New Zealand, uh, went off to uh, South Africa then, Germany, China for a couple of months, um, where I was the resident choreographer and swing. Um, and then we went back to China where I was resident director and resident choreographer. Um, where we just finished up now in uh, January. Um, I had the honor of meeting Reese in Germany. Um, I worked with Matt in London when I went and recast some of the positions from the show. Um, and with Gigi, I did Phantom of the Opera for four years with her. So it's so nice to see all the incredible faces together. And Tanya, thank you so much for this and for introducing us to everybody. And for everything you've done for each and every single one of us um, in this production. I don't think any of us could have done this without you. And you were just such an incredible mentor and you were always there for us. And I really appreciate that. And Kamsamnida uh, and Spasibo to our incredible translators that are allowing everybody from all over the world to enjoy our stories. Thank you, Darren. Yeah. <laughs> Love you. And then we have for me, the first time I had only three swings, one female, which was Michelle, who had to learn everything, not easy, and two male, which was Adam and John. And they, the three of them, they shared the position of dance captain for the tour. Wow. Together. So, wow. Camden, can you start and then you pass okay. to the, your friends? <laughs> Hi, guys, I'm Camden. Um, I worked on the, as, as Tanya said, I worked as Gary's assistant on the most recent U.S. tour, um, which, Tanya, was your first U.S. production, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. After what, 24 something odd productions elsewhere? I have no idea. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, my, uh, my, uh, it was my first time with the show, uh, my first time working with Tanya and with Gary, um, and it was a short time with the show. It was only about a month, a month, maybe a little bit over a month. But even in that short time, it, 
it does. I don't have to tell any of you, it blows your mind how much the show changes you and, mm-hmm. and just really impacts your life and speaks to other aspects of your life too, even outside of the rehearsal room or the, or the production itself. And um, yeah, it's, it's one of the most amazing experiences of my life, only a month of my life, but it is one of the most amazing experiences that I will cherish and bring with me for the rest of my life. It really is such an incredibly special family filled with a lot of good, special, intelligent, compassionate people and honest people. And um, yeah, it's, yeah, I'm I'm emotional. I was only with it for a month. Um, So yeah, and I think that this meeting is such a beautiful representation of how it speaks to so many people around the world. Mm -hmm. And that's a really beautiful thing, especially right now, something that we really need. So yeah. yeah, yeah. So thank you, Tanya, for setting this up. Thank you. Chicago is family. Oh, and I just want to add that these three swings are incredible. They learned the show in three weeks and were ready to go in at in a heartbeat. So they're incredible. Very, very, very incredible. Hi, uh, my name is John. I was one of the swings and co-dance captains for the tour. And it just kind of blows my mind that we started in January of this year, which was only a few months ago, but it feels like a whole nother lifetime at this point. But it, it's so true what everybody has been saying. And what Tanya told us during the first few weeks of rehearsal was just that this is a family. This is, there's so much legacy with this show. And it's, and we were, we've just been welcomed so openly into it, even though our, most of us, I think this was our first time experiencing Chicago ever doing it. Um, yeah. And it, it really does. It changes your life. And just to see this call with everybody around the world, it's like, ah, I'm just mind blown and honored to be a part of this 100%. And I'm going to make Adam, I don't know if he'll do it on his own, but I'm going to make him tell the story of the first time he swung on because it's (laughs) an excellent story. (laughs) Hi. Um, (laughs) Hi, everyone. I'm Adam. You're all glowing and beautiful. And I just, love seeing everybody wow Mitchell I love your wall art incredible too um yeah so Chicago is such a dream show of mine and to be so young and be able to have the opportunity to do it I was only 21 when I booked the show then let alone to then become a swing and dance captain for it it was very surreal um so huge for me (laughs) um But yeah, John mentioned the first time I swung on, we only did 16 regular performances and I was very lucky to be able to do seven of those um, covering two tracks. So we were still learning the show as we were like starting performances and everything. And every day we would go on, um, Michelle, John and I, we would go over the show together. And there was one day we were were in Fresno, I think, Mm -hmm. Fresno, California, and we were like standing in the dressing room and I was like, today's going to be the day one of us goes on. And we were just joking. We were like, no, no, it won't happen. And then right before act one ended, one of our castmates comes sprinting up the stairs to the dressing room. They're like, put on your costumes. And we're like, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> so um, John and I got ready and one of our castmates hurt his arm during the show. And I was thrown in. Was not ready for that, but we got through it. <laughs> you were. Yes, you were. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. It was amazing. Yeah. And by the time I did it like three or four times, it was like piece of cake. Um, <laughs> such, a, such a dream to be able to have the opportunity. And then our last performance that we got to do, I was swung on the second we got to the theater for a track that I was not too confident about at that point, but we got through it. John and Michelle helped You crushed me. it. You crushed it. Yeah, yeah, great. <laughs> um, yeah, very, very grateful. Um, Tanya, thank you so much for bringing all this together. And this is family. And hopefully one day we get to get back out there and continue telling this beautiful story. Sexy story. Great. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> thank you. Stephanie from Mexico, she just came in. Bienvenida, querida. I'm so sorry, I made the mistake. I thought it was 7.40 p.m. Oh, no. Oh. I don't know why, because it was military time. So, so, so dumb. Got a call, and I was like, it's at night. And she's like, no. I'm no. Like, Elia yeah. will give me all the hot gossip. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm Michelle. Um, I'm the female swing and one of the dance captains. Um, 
I guess when I was like 10, I saw Chicago was the first musical I ever saw um, on Broadway because my dad was like friends with the woman playing cognac. And then after I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, like that's what I want to do. I want to do that show. So it was really cool getting to learn all of the tracks in the show. Um, and yeah, we ran for like two or three weeks, but even in that like short amount of time, it was just so interesting to see like the show go from rehearsal to tech to performances and like how the audience perceived it. Um, yeah, it's also really cool to be a part of this community. Like I'm so grateful that I can meet all of you guys. You all seem uh, amazing and awesome and to hear about your experiences with the show and outside of the show is really cool. Yeah, thank you so much to Tanya for putting us together. Best part of my quarantine so far. <laughs> thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for being here. It was um, really honored to see you all. I love you all, and it's very important to have you in my life. I hope to see you soon again and to give you a big hug! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tanya. 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 Thank you, Tanya.